some D time, and you already know what's going on, man. You need more. Mm -hmm. I'm not. All these niggas do is cap of that shit for no reason. I'm on my knees praying. I'm out here fighting with my demons. Yeah, there you go, right there. So why I need no racks? Shit. Uh, honestly, like, I got that name because, for one, really I got this shit off a movie, like the uh, Nino part I got from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, damn, what's my shit called? New Jack City. New Jack City. Yeah, and I just added in. I just basically came with some finesse on myself, just put right. the racks in there. I just added some shit in. I wasn't thinking too hard on it just to put it with my name or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just thought of a music name. So did people call you that while you was in school, or was this after school? After you was done with school? Basically, shit. After, see. I just always thought like my name been Lil D. Everybody always called me Lil D. But right. when uh like I've always been the nigga that had like you know what I'm saying, been yeah. the nigga that had shit. But nigga have his time, but I always been the nigga that had right. shit. Like back then, I was a nigga riding on 26 inch, inch rims. I had two cars, right. 18 year old, one was on four, one was on 26. Clean that paint, everything. Like young nigga just really doing shit like shit. Right. Niggas know though. That shit stand like niggas can go check niggas. Right. Facebook, anything. So on the streets you're probably more known as little dude than Yeah, Nino, yeah. Right. Of course, hell yeah. Okay. That's a way more. Way more. Not really shit. You know, Rex, I mean, that's just the people who I feel like just don't know me. It's cool for them to call me that, but like right. other than that people around the city or people that know me, they gonna call me little D. I don't really give two fucks about that shit. Right. So what got you into music? Like why why did you start making music? Uh honestly, my cousin came home from jail. I've always liked the rapping type shit, but right. when that nigga uh, my cousin Nick, that nigga came home from jail type shit and then right. shit bro that that nigga started rapping bro. I just started liking rapping for ever since then, yeah. I've been freestyling since seven years old can folk. Right. Learn. I thought Lil Wayne always freestyle, and I've been freestyling since then. I ain't never thought to pick up no pen like that, fam. So yeah, I mean, that's explain your process a little bit, cause you know I work with you here at MGM, and yeah, it's always pretty cool to to watch your process yeah, and how your songs yeah. come together when we pretty much start with no idea and nothing, mm -hmm. you know, to to what the end result is. It's always amazing to see. So explain your process a little bit, like what, how do you get your words together and stuff like that. Sometimes shit, nigga be on this shit, sometimes nigga I be, I get help from, see my engineer, so y'all know this right now shit, my engineer is doing the, the interview, but shit, sometimes shit nigga I get shit from you if I ain't got right. shit, but all the ideas just come from everything that's around me nigga, it can be fucking speaker nigga, it can be right. you. It's just all the energy and everything that's around me, that's what helped me come up with that shit. Then I go off of the, the melody. Right. That's that's how I come up with it. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wanna give them everything. Hey, but when you in here, it don't matter what you is when you go outside these doors. But when you in here, nigga, you Superman, you can be anybody you wanna be, man. Fuck what a nigga gotta tell you, bro. When you in here, man, for real, bro. Nigga, you got, hey, you can have 34 cars when you in this bitch, nigga. <laughs> 12 chain, hey, I'm telling you, because it's coming. Honestly, short term, I don't know, really. Like, if you can get something out of it now, what would that be? Yeah, because I'd have given me some everything else. The internet, I really don't even care about. I just want right. shit short term, what? Just build more uh, platform recognition, basically. Right. And other than that, shit. Like Spotify, know. Apple Music, yeah, stuff like, like that. that. They, the app, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the app. And then, like long term, you know, what's what do you kind of like? Let's say, what do you see yourself long in five years if you keep going out the route that you're going? Long term goal is I want to. Uh, shit, bro, cause I love music, fam. So I want to learn the structure. Actually, the structure of music, bro. I want to be able to master a hit. That's what my long-term goal is, bro. Like, right. I want to be able to master a hit type shit, nigga. I want to 
nigga, I wanna, I don't wanna be, you know how I, a nigga go, it's an athlete and then it's a, a superstar. Right. A superstar is a person in that certain sport, he's cold as hell. Right. But an athlete is a nigga that, nigga, I can play soccer. Nigga, I can play basketball. Nigga, I can right. play. See, in this rap shit, I want to be able to play guitar. Every role. Yeah. yeah. I want to be able to sing nigga, right. like in the choir. Like that, I want to be able to touch a house. Baby. I just want to be the nigga. I want to be an athlete in music, basically. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I guess I guess since you said something about singing, explain that a little bit, like, because uh, I don't necessarily say you sing on your music, but yeah, you, you do kind of harmonize and, yeah. and put some melodies in there. Like, why why that instead of like you know just straight bars? Like, why why did you choose that route? Shit, like on some shit. See that go back to you another like with you coming up like helping me with my process type shit. Yeah. It all goes. That's why I say no niggas really can't just get in there. Like niggas can, but bro, everything ain't gonna work right if you don't work with your engineer, bro. It actually come better, but um, see, you know? that what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Now nah, that's what I was finna say. That like, I don't know, bro. Like sometimes you'll tell me go with the rapping or go with this, bro. Both, I, I really can work with both, but right. sometimes just go on how a track melody is, bro. That's right. what it is. Like if I yeah, if I jump on a track, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use this voice. Right. Or if the track sound like this, I'm gonna use this voice. It just go yeah. with the tones. Cause I notice you use it more like on your when you're speaking on your pain mm -hmm. or your past experiences. You know, I can really feel it more on, on those type of songs. And them, them the beats, damn, but them most beats that got uh, pianos and shit right. type shit, cause them, that's what I really like, fam. Yeah. Them my favorite beats. I like, like beats the pianos. Piano, yeah. yeah. Type shit. I love them all, true. Real. Uh, who do you see yourself working with? Or is there anybody that you would want to work with? Whether it's industry or local, doesn't have to be anybody that's commercial right now. Like, is there anybody out there that maybe you've been checking out lately or, or keeping up with that you wouldn't want to work with? Shit, I fuck with it. I really fuck with the whole city on some shit, though. Like, when I started out, shit, I was on, like, just like uh, other big niggas was that was in the city. Right. That popped out, like, shit, wasn't nobody hot in our city, bro, but Trout, uh, Yellow Beezy, and uh, Maserati, yay. Right. So, shit, nigga, all I did was take the Dallas culture and follow the footsteps type shit. Right. With, with the plans, nigga, I was like, shit, them niggas on this platform, shit, ain't nobody else on this platform, right. it's just Dallas niggas, I just took that way, so shit, basically, what I'm saying, well, add up to that shit, I really right. want to work with niggas in my city, other than that, I already did the outside the city things, it's the same right. as them, but I'm just like them, the same shit, they back on, nigga, they working with niggas in that city right. type shit. So, like, for people that don't know, like, you know, you be in the Mesquite area, is do you rep that like with pride or, at all, or or are you more like a Dallas thing? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm, I I go because you know a lot of people they're Dallas. from other places and then they cl they claim from nah, Dallas. For so. sure, I'm from Dallas, bro, because everybody knows as a whole this shit is Dallas, right. bro. Dallas if, County. If yeah. anybody exactly like technical, but shit, I'm gonna die by mesquite, bro. I don't give a fuck. Cause they, yeah. for one, people just get it misconstrued like it's the suburbs, but niggas that really. It, niggas that's from like 6-5 Pleasant Grove and, and that's really from that Pleasant Grove area right. know about Mesquite because basically, bro, it, all that shit the same. Everybody yeah. flooded over into Mesquite. I remember that. Ah, uh, it's like it's mixed, bro. Everything's mixed. Yeah. Pleasant Grove niggas is going to Mesquite. Mesquite niggas, bro. So Mesquite ain't sweet. Right. Like niggas think it is, bro. I've had... Yeah, like I say, I, I think people have the, the, the wrong idea about mm -hmm. Mesquite, you know. But I guess it was... I ain't gonna there was some people out there that I, was giving them the wrong name too. On me, I done been, been down there shot multiple times. Right. All this shit done, nigga, jump niggas down there got uh, got jump nigga right. down there got jump all this type of shit. And I still thought mosquito was sweet right. until it changed my mind. When my partner started dying, bro. I started losing my partners. Right. That's when I knew I was like, yeah. So it's like every hood got a hood. Yeah, every hood got a hood. Nigga for yeah. sure that nigga can't say that. I don't give a damn if it's a suburbs, nigga, ten houses in that nigga. It's it's a killer, it's a it's a robber, it's a drug dealer right. somewhere in every crease and crevices, bro. Yeah. That's what's yeah, up. Show that. So like growing up, uh 
don't necessarily have to be a musician or anything like that. Like, who are your influences in your life, you know? Like, uh, maybe a father or uncle or an OG, you know? Who are some influences that, that kind of kept you, you know, on the straight path or at least tried? You know, we all know you had your, you had your run in, you know? Oh, uh, shit. Most of the time, shit. Bro, because I had a rough upbringing, so it's really like, Ain't nobody but I ain't never had nobody with shit. My my grandmother and my uh my uncle. That's how I had my aunt, aunt before she had passed away. That's how I got shit. So them was the people that only just just kept me influenced. Yeah. You know, I love my daddy and my mama but shit. That's who That's who was there for you. Granny, yeah. yeah. She for sure took care of me, nigga. So like if if you could have like uh you know, let's say tomorrow you woke up with a million dollars in your bank account. What would be the first thing you do for your, your grandmother? That's all I want the money for. Yeah. That's it. I just want the money for her and my baby, nigga, my daughter. That's all I want the money for. I just want the money to just be able to say, nigga, like, damn, bro, I, I, actually, I gave my granny what they want. I just see them happy, fam. That's right. it. Return the favor. That's it, bro. She worked yeah. all life, nigga. Helped me, nigga, like that. She was really done with raising kids, nigga. She just came. Yeah. Got me shit. Sure yeah. So, what did you do, like, to uh, to maintain? Because, you know, we all know it's not easy, you know, trying to be a rapper, you know, as far as, like, whether you was hustling or, or job or stuff like that. Like, what? explain some of the things that maybe you had to go through to, like, keep doing this, you know? Because I don't think everybody understands. The, it, bro, all the shit I go through now, all the shit I... I've been going through. That's what keep me alive. Right. That's what my, all the all the bad shit that goes on. That's how I feel, bro. Honestly, fam, I feel like bad shit is what keep me alive. Like right. all the bad shit that happens, right. like that's what keep me motivated and keep me going type shit. Right. As long as it seems like longer the bad happens to me, the more nigga keep striving and keep going right. type shit. That's really it type shit. That's what got me where I'm at, shit. Yeah, that's what's up. Period. Saying. I had a whole different life, bro. I was on some young dumb ass shit, nigga. <laughs> I'm some my nigga. We every weekend trip on the fight niggas, at parties, shooting at niggas, getting shot at. All this dumb shit, fam. Living this shit every weekend, fam. Did and you think you'd survive all that? Hell nah, I didn't. I just knew when, like, see, I'm kind of different than eyes like i'm different with the eyes because motherfuckers from mesquite they not used to motherfuckers like me like right. uh, this nigga grew up with his granny he was in the foster home you know what i'm saying they used to being uh having this good shit you know what right. i'm saying so nigga like nigga god damn bro i don't even know bro i ain't even think i was gonna survive none of that shit bro what you hear? I, but i but like i always had a thought though, like I was saying, bro. I, I don't know. I always had a thought in my head. I always thought about death, fam. Death? Yes, for some reason, fam. So, like, you know, when you, when you got shot, because I remember you got shot. Like, what? Explain, like, what that was going through your mind then? That shit made it worse. Like, that shit made it worse. Like, it actually made me not afraid really? to die. See, at first I was always thinking about death. Right. But when I got shot, it actually made me not afraid. Afraid to die. Like that's like a nigga can draw down on me right now with a strap, fam. I'm gonna be like, pull that hoe. Like right now, like the same way I just said that hoe. Cause you already like, experienced like, it. Like, it don't scare me, fam. Like it yeah. wasn't like a nigga like, went by me and shot me type shit. Like right. nigga directly, like damn near from where we at. <laughs> right now, nigga shot me like. And the nigga was shooting more bullets, nigga. You gotta right. think about it. I ain't scared to die. This nigga done emptied a whole clip on me. I only got hit one time. Damn. But he actually standing right in front of me and I missed out of him. So niggas just was like, I was like, once that shit happened, I just knew I was like, I know I'm blessed, but it's just also give me that shit. That's what's wrong though. At the same time, like a gift and the curse, cause it's actually like, nigga, it's like. It could be dangerous not to be afraid. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. I'm not afraid because I feel blessed. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like a gift and a curse. I'm not afraid because I feel like I'm supposed to be here right. for a reason. Because God could have let me die so many multiple times, bro. Right. I did so much shit, bro. 
So, so with with that being said, like with you know the fame that you're gaining, are you do you think about like okay, well, one day I'm gonna run into them same people, you know? Which people? Whoever shot you. I don't be stunning that shit. Like with none of that shit, that mean I would have been scared a long time ago when I was beefing for niggas every day. Right. I'm talking about pulling up on niggas, fucking with niggas for no reason, driving around their territory looking to catch them slipping. Oh, we found one. Mm -hmm. I from beat his ass down. I would have been scared of them niggas a long time ago. Yeah. All them niggas I done shot at, nigga. Like, it's, a, it's a lot of shit, bro. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit I can, I can speak on because, you know what I'm saying, I, I already know what I'm on pro probation right. for. I ain't, got nothing, I ain't got nothing to lose with the other shit. That shit right. old. So for all those out there wondering, are you a sports fan? Yeah, yeah. You are. What? Who? Who? And, and who's your favorite sport? Like, or what is your favorite sport? Football. Football. Yeah, yeah. Why? Shit, I, I like contact sports. Contact sports. I sport. been raw with this shit, but I'm an athlete. I can play basketball, baseball. Did you play sports in in yeah, school? I played uh, football. I like football. Play. And what? I played select basketball for. So was like you? You was good at it. I was straight. Yeah. I, I'm more so straight at basketball because I got speed yeah. and I can just drive to the basketball. I ain't cold. Out of extra, she cold. Yeah. Do you think if you was dealt different cars that you would have maybe pursued sports football, instead of football for sure? Yeah. I should have never. I don't know. I did some stupid ass shit. I gave up on football. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, bro. I just gave up. I was like, it's too hot. It's two a day. Two a days was killing my. Oh ass. yeah, I remember that shit. Cause <laughs> I would, bro. Cause I was going to summer school true for extra credit, so I wouldn't have to take English right. during school. And then I was going to two that I was so tired of shit when it wasn't working for me, bro. I can do it, bro. So do you have a favorite athlete right now? Not right now, off the back. Well, yeah, I do. I ain't gonna lie, cause you know, and I play slot receiver and running back. That's my favorite position, running back. Uh, that nigga uh, Zeke, Zeke Elliott, yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. Cause he played for Dallas for sure. Him. I ain't been watching Dallas though. Right. After I stopped watching Dallas nigga after that nigga missed that field goal, fam. And right. I ain't watched the game since, fam. <laughs> I swear to God, I never picked up the TV and turned the niggas back on. The nigga ran me out with that shit. Yeah. That Dallas shit always disappoints, year. man. That do this shit every year, bro. Yeah. So do you have a favorite food? Uh, shit. Burgers. Old-fashioned burgers. Old-fashioned burgers. And wings. And fried. That's it. My favorite shit, old fashioned burgers I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite place to eat? Like if you can pick up and go to any place right now, where would it be? Hood barbecue shops. Hood barbecue shop, hell yeah. Any hood barbecue shop. You pull up at the house with the food. Chop beef sandwiches and shit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna be having one in North Dallas and shit too. Out here. Yeah. So I'm gonna touch a little bit on your features. Mm -hmm. And we got all the good shit out the way. I wanna. <laughs> uh, so I see you got a feature with Lonnie. Like, explain, like, how, how did that happen? You know, rest in peace to him. Um, rest in peace to little Lonnie, bro. Um, like, was that a strategic move? You know, or, or, or did that just happen? I'm gonna tell you like it is, bro. Shout out to nigga Kane for that nigga in a minute, uh, but it's uh that nigga Kane. I don't know he just, that nigga just stopped doing shit I guess, but yeah. bro bro Kane he actually he like a nigga like you bro. He actually do his embroidery, his daddy on embroidery. Right. He used to do. I been fucking with him. That's my partner. Like he used to do the uh, clothes. He did our clothes and our hats and shit right. for us when we was in school, and um. So bro had pulled up on me, he heard my tape, cause my tape was going crazy right. and mosquito on God. And bro had just pulled up, found somebody told him like how to get into contact with me. This nigga pulled up on me, screw And bro was like, bro, you so raw, bro. Boom, boom, boom. So after this, the nigga just started coming to get me. He was coming to get me actually out the trap. I was in the trap, bro, coming right. to get me out the trap. He like, Nigga, this the rap shit working for you, but it ain't gonna work for you if you just sitting in this whole all day. That nigga come get me, start taking pressure. He from Mississippi though. Right. Boom. That nigga was like, bro. Uh, he had turned on a little Lunny song inside his car. It was jamming that hoe. I was like, damn. 
you listen to this nigga? And he was like, hey, yeah, this nigga from my city. So you already heard a lot Yeah, I was already fucking with him, but I was fucking with this nigga before anybody else was fucking with him. Shout out to Count Cash. Count Cash was the nigga who put me on him, fam. Right. I'm talking about nigga. A day I was with Street Classics, bro. Uh, Count Cash put me on... Uh, you can go check the date. Whatever date that was on Street Classic that I made the vlog when I had everybody out there. Uh, right. That that bitch was the date that I found out who Lil Lunny was. Then like some months later, I don't know if it was like, I, I just was listening to him. And then that nigga from Mississippi, he pulled up on me, woom, 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 long story short. That nigga, uh, he got to mention it to me. Hey, shit, I, I, shit, I can do something. We can try right. to set it up, shit. Nigga seen how much it cost, that nigga, we called him, and the, the shit was hard at first. We seen how much it cost, bro. They told us the cost at first, but then we started trying to tell them that we finna come in a couple of days and shit. Them niggas stopped answering the phone and shit. Nigga had yeah. to actually spread my music in Mississippi to make him hear about me, nigga. Right. Like, like, the nigga from, matter of fact, a nigga from uh, 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 his DJ had came came back at me with some B shit. And I was like, nigga, Man. what the fuck? Oh God, nigga, this nigga DJ Lewis, he he actually DJs for Lil Wayne live. Yeah. That's who does Lil Wayne sets live, bro. Damn. And this nigga came back and commented on my post. That's how I knew I was hot, bro. This <laughs> nigga commented on my post, nigga, with some B shit. I was like, nigga, what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? You won't smoke, but I was like, I fuck a little under and then this one, he was like, oh shit. That's how you had to say that, boom, boom, boom. I was like, shit, get to work. Something like that then. Shit. That nigga never uh he was like he was like, I right, bet on some shit and then right. we never contacted back. And then somehow, I don't know, bro, we got in contact with these niggas on the phone, fam. Went down to that bitch. Them right. niggas got doing the same shit though when we was down there. Stop answering that hoe. Cause Lil Lonnie, bro, he like a nigga, he care about his craft, you know. Right. He don't give a fuck about no money type shit. He don't, it, it ain't just about the money with him, bro. Right, he money wasn't going to move him to make it. Yeah, song. hell nah. He, even if you ain't stamped, he just got to make sure your song meaningful and that bitch hard. Right. Like, you got to know you mean that shit, bro. That shit got to be what... You got to be on the radar, bro, right. basically, bro. And that nigga basically fuck with me, bro. Heard my shit fuck with me, so he was like, yeah. And we got it in. Yeah. In the future, that nigga gave me a cut price and everything. He probably... He was still taxing niggas. Bro told me he was still taxing niggas, man. Right. I got the GP price anytime I wanted so. I'm God. He told me. I guess it worked out for you then, huh? Yeah. I still got bro number. That shit crazy, bro. I still got his number, bro. Right. Every time I be scrolling my phone, be seeing that shit. That shit be making me tweak, fam. Yeah. Oh, God. Seeing a little Lenny come across that hell. I'm like, damn, fam. Yeah, so. It's crazy, bro. Because him is a person. Yeah. Bro, cool with a bit. Yeah, cause you was locked up when you found out. I mean, what what happened? Or how did you find out? Did somebody in there told you? Yeah, nigga know. Uh, nigga knew who I was. He had, uh, knew I had a song with him type shit. Shit, bro. Uh, Guitar Lewis, nigga. Yeah. Nigga told me that nigga had died and shit. I was like, damn. That shit spooked me. Yeah. I was kind of on some shit. I ain't happy. I was inside that type shit. When I right. heard he was dead, I was like, shit, I'm happy. I know. Cause niggas dying left and right, fam. Right. Nigga, it be crazy sometimes. Yeah, save a nigga. So maybe maybe touch up on that a little bit. Um, speaking of people dying, um, we always hear you scream out CJ World. What's that all about? For those who don't know. Um, for those who don't know, I'm gonna speak some facts and get this shit clear. And clear this shit up right now with you. Uh, CJ, I was at my cousin, I'm gonna tell you how that everything happened, bro. I'm at my cousin's house. I don't know, it was a party or something. I need passed away. Bloom, bloom, bloom. I'm over there. We all together at nighttime. Right. We had um, uh, my nigga Peter house, matter of fact. We had my partner Peter house, bro. And everybody, you can go check. Check the dates, bro. Go check people old pictures. Everybody was putting pound forever my hitter, pound forever my hitter, and I I'm the one who said CJ World, bro. 
So you, it you brought actually, light to that. Yes, bro. Because it comes from Juju World, bro. Right. And Pleasant Grove. And nigga, I, I just put CJ World. Because it's all connected. Right. In Dallas, and I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some Dallas shit, basically, bro. Right. Boom, boom, world. Boom, boom, world. Like, a lot of, couple people, it, it began to become a trend when everybody started saying world, right. you know what I'm saying, behind. behind if you something. notice, yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, that's how that shit went. I said that shit, and the shit, the shit was still going. It was still forever, like, even when we had his uh, candlelight, Niggas came up to that bitch with forever my hitter on that t-shirt, bro. Right. I only came to that house with CJ World and I think like Tate, Lil Tate. That's about it. Everybody else had forever my hitter on that house. Yeah. It was, so it was like that was still in the dark, bro. Right. But I kept pushing that shit. Yeah, you dropped a, a mixtape yeah, title with CJ World, right? CJ World, everything, bro. Yeah. I ain't finna stamp that shit. Everybody, bro, then that's when everything rolled over. That's when everybody... Talk this shit, CJ World, yeah. yeah. Real talk, this shit, CJ World. Because they felt my pain, bro. Them niggas knew what I was in. Yeah. Bro, I ain't never true. I, nigga, I used to go, you can go take this shit back to rhythm, bro. I used to go in the booth and rap. I ain't never got behind my shit. That nigga rhythm seen me, nigga. You like, damn, bro. Nigga, I seen everything you been doing, nigga. That shit going crazy. Yeah. You know, that made me shit feel like I was like, damn. Doing something. I, I remember, nah, not even that. That's not even what man. I was like, bro, CJ, that shit changed me. I knew yeah. that shit really changed the nigga type of shit. Cause so did CJ I make music? on that booth like that, fam. Yeah. Hell nah, CJ. Bro. That nigga's a cool ass, will beat your ass, funny ass nigga, fam. Yeah. That's all he is, fam. <laughs> him, I feel like I know him because you, you talk about him so much in your music, you know? Bro, it's almost as if he's here with us. If you go to CJ World, fam, then you really feel like you'll feel like he's standing in front of you, fam, when you listen to the tape, fam. That's my nigga fan. Like when I first made that tape, fan, you feel all that shit. I used to walk around this whole tripping fan wearing this shirt for like yeah. five days straight. <laughs> Literally, yeah. fan, niggas, this shit real, bro. This shit for real, fan. Niggas know, fan. That bitch be looking weird in the bitch in the arms, cause I done been wearing that bitch for like six, six days. <laughs> that shit, nigga. Oh yeah. God, true. I ain't lying to you, bro. Tell you about that shit more than what it seems. These niggas be trying to make it seem, bro. But that's where everything come from with CJ World. I mean, shit. We all together, though, regardless, bro. I don't care. Right. That nigga, I say, but, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, put that shit. Nah, bitch, you still, if you CJ World, you got you ain't got no choice, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's ride or die. Yeah. What you gonna die? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, real shit though, nigga. Like, you nigga, it is what it is, nigga. If you ride for him, shit, then we ain't got no choice but. Right. Shit, Keep it you going. You stay over there, but you stay over there, shit. But we gotta be together, shit, regardless. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying, shit, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. So, how do you feel about the the music of Dallas right now? At least, at least what's going on. You know, now <laughs> Dallas is getting some attention with, with BZ and Trap. That shit going crazy, bro. Really. Really, bro. That shit going crazy. I respect everybody, girl. I mean, do, do you feel like you fit in what's going on right now, or, or like your time is coming? Bro, I'm gonna tell you like this. My time is coming, bro, because, see, at first, I had pain on me. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't get over CJ, uh, Def, so. I just can't get over this shit, so I don't know what to do. That shit really is about to be the same shit. But when I do, you know, how to elevate. That's why if you go listen. Nigga, if you go listen, I, see, I've always had bars because I've been freestyling. And Wayne was always my favorite artist. So I just, nigga, just learn how to pick up on that shit. I used to do, do, just do shit he did, not like... Yeah within the music, but like, I think I should be young and a bitch reading dictionary and shit. So would you say musically, he's probably one of your biggest influences? Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Nigga, I used to read dictionary. But, but yeah, but that, but what I was saying, nigga, like, the, if you go back literally right now yourself, nigga, listen to CJ, where he be like, damn, he was rapping, but he wasn't, he was putting the bars on her with them hoes, but together, together, it was like, right. 
it was like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. My music developed. I ain't even know how to just really put words together. None of that shit. I just used to be rapping, bro. Right. I freestyle. That's all I know how to do. Nigga, turn on the beat. And I'm finna freestyle the whole beat. Right. That's all I knew. That's all I knew. So, like, would you call your style like what you do now, freestyle? Is that, or like, it's, is this your it's, own it's, form of freestyle? Yeah, it's my own form of freestyling. Cause every song got its own way of me coming up with shit. Like, I don't never get on that hoe. Like, t I can get on one song, get the mumbling on that hoe, come up with the melody, and then like another song, I ain't even gotta do that shit. Like right. another song, I can just jump on that hoe. Just come to you, yeah. Yeah, like so every song. It just, it be with the melody with me. That's why I be telling niggas I'm, I'm different. It, it's like, you know how niggas be coming on that hoe? And they're just already, for instance, like, like Money Man Hard the Bitch, he got his own sound, but you see how he'll jump on the track and how his tracks are in the same convenience, like his sound. He damn near sound the same. Sound the same, yeah, because yeah, he got it critiqued his style. Yeah. But to me, like, you can't put me in no genre bro right it's not it's not gonna work for him because i come to your bitch ass nigga nigga that motherfucking turn on the track that motherfucker get to, i get to hear a little p a little motherfucking tone string in that bitch right. i turn that bitch to a rock star song <laughs> you want yeah. to that's why i say nigga i'm telling you like nigga different that's why i be saying my ones and twos everything is different right. than people, bro, for real, bro. Yeah, i think people are definitely gonna be studying you in the years to come. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I always use you as a reference when, when yeah. people come in here and they're like, oh, well, I'm going to do some punching and stuff. Is that okay with you? I'm like, man, y'all have no idea. I work with one of the best punching artists out here. Yeah. You know? Hey, you know, crazy. I don't think by naming a, a, a tape, dropping a tape called Punching. Punching. I ain't never mentioned it to you, but I always thought right. about it, dropping a tape called Punching. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, I guess it explains a lot of your process, you know, and how you work. That's true process, too. Yeah. So would, you, would you ever do any acting if you had the opportunity? Hell no. <laughs> you wouldn't do no acting? Like, you won't be in no movies? It just depends on some. It just gotta be some. Hell nah, it gotta be some gang shit or some shit. Nah, nah. <coughs> no. <coughs> <coughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm wherever the money is. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah. I guess if it's the right opportunity. Yeah, I often to sit there and count. Hey, yeah, I'm wearing the money. I'm trying to feed my people. Bro. So, uh, you got any projects coming out soon? Or do you have anything out right now that, that people need to know about? I got born to lose. Built to lose. <laughs> born to lose, built to win. Uh, my mixtapes, I got uh, Vinny out on my mixtapes and all other platforms. And I got Vinny too for the job. Soon. This shit coming to our platforms also. Yeah. So, how do you feel about jury when it comes to the game? Jury. Do you feel like, is, is that like almost. It is, bro. Like it has to come with being a rapper now? It's a necessary in the stint, like right now, but uh, everybody got their own lane. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to see that shit. Everybody got their own lane. There's some niggas don't even rock you and be rapping. Yeah, some people just doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. You know, and I guess everybody don't need it. I mean, however you choose yeah. to spend your money when you get it, you know. Yeah, because some niggas just ain't really. Got that shit like that. Shit. This shit life like a bitch. Niggas right. trying. That's what niggas doing. That's why all these niggas rapping. Trying to make a a, a getaway quick scheme to get out this shit, nigga. Right. This shit life. Shit hard. For real. And if you had any message for any upcoming artists right now, you know, what would that be? Shit. Stay in school, bro. If you still young, bro, stay in school, go to college, finish college. Just keep your backup plan, that's about it. That's how it is. And if you can go back in time and tell yourself, you know, your 15-year-old self, 16-year-old self, 
What, what would you tell them? Niggas stop buying our goddamn shoes. <laughs> yeah. I wish I would have been awesome. Way, way, money shit. Oh. Ahead of niggas' time before niggas start thinking about that shit. Cause niggas weren't even on that shit. Yeah. Back then, way back then, niggas weren't on that shit. How niggas be now, having yeah. money, being on Instagram and shit, niggas. Nigga walk around, nigga walk around that bitch. No more than fifty dollars in that pocket around right. that time, nigga. <laughs> real young niggas, and now young niggas, you see young niggas, sixteen, seventeen years old, fifteen thousand dollars in that pocket and shit. Yeah. Ten thousand. <laughs> Shit's crazy. Real shit be crazy in the bitch. Make me think what I'm doing wrong sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, niggas be like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that shit for sure, nigga. That shit for sure. So uh, touch on that that Cuban doll um, feature that you got, cause you know she's been all over the news and shit lately. Not maybe for all the best reasons, but you know, like how uh, how does it make you feel that you have worked with two artists that little after that they got signed or got some kind of deal? You know, that shit made me just feel like that's how I know I'm a, I'm a longevity person, yeah. because all these artists I fuck with before they even started. Just Crazy, crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, does that make you want to work harder? You know, like, I mean, is that what you're looking for? Are you trying to get a deal or? Shit, I really, I want a partner deal, if anything. But I don't want no nigga to pop my shit down. I ain't trying to be right. fucked up. You trying to own the masters to your yeah, music and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Longevity, like I said. Yeah. I could have been down found some shit. I could have been down and got somebody and went to these labels and shit when I first started popping out. Right. Getting when it wasn't, when it was like this way back then, like when I first started rapping, it was, it was like hard to find a nigga to start hitting millions. Right. Like that shit was like, damn, that nigga hit a million. But now that shit's so easy right now. Right. You know Change the game and change so yeah, much. So yeah. The numbers was different. Like when I was hitting 20, I was in 10,000. Twenty thousand when I was like when I first on my first video, man, right. when I dropped the first video. That bitch started going crazy. I begged dog come this bitch. That nigga Lil London shit, his shit his shit was going crazy. I know but going only on. for him, like he wasn't even he no like us together. Nigga hit that. Right. Our numbers was going up faster than the bitch. I'm like, damn. And some of his videos ain't even got the same right. amount like we got. Yeah. So, it don't be in the sense of me just saying niggas out know, work harder, but cause the nigga I don't force hard. Right. You can get that, you got to work, you got to work 10 times on this shit. Right. See, when you get that sort of shit, that ain't a question. Yeah, because I think people think that, oh, once I get a deal, that's it. Like, I got yeah. money now, I'm fine. That's yeah, yeah, nah. That just make me feel like, damn, I be just knowing. I feel like I'm ahead of the game because I always pick who. I, if a nigga notice, I fuck with artists that still underground, but they right. be ready to get ready to fucking blow. I know what they finna blow. Yeah. Like, it'll be a lot of niggas I be fucking with low key before they even be blowing up type shit. Yeah. So, is there any beef out there that you would like to address? If there's any at all. Nah, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no smoke with nobody. I be too too much worried about myself. I don't really got to put my energy in no nigga. So if you ever think I'm talking on a song about them or huh. any other shit like that shit, hell nah. No so shit. they shouldn't feel that way because... Hell nah, I never should feel that way. Shit, if they feel that way, shit, then she must fit on them or something. Right. They got to be worried about me too much. I ain't, I ain't even got the time to be putting that much energy in nobody. Right. I ain't got no problem with nobody. I don't know. I be on some whole other shit. So there's any any last shout outs or anybody you wanna give recognition to or anything like that? Shit. Yeah, no, only MJM Studios, that's about it. True to product, shit. I ain't got nobody to shout out my family, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck nigga, Shannon. Yeah, man.
So for those who don't know, shout uh, out my fan, family, all the fans. That's that's real core fans. You know what I'm saying? The supporters yeah. always been real niggas. They fuck with me. a lot of me. kids, all this shit. Yeah. So for those who don't know, uh, what's your Instagram so everybody that's watching this can go follow you? Uh, Wendy no underscore Rex. I'm a thing that be on top of my mind when I'm stressing niggas on my fucking chat. Let me get out. <laughs> <laughs> it sound like a nigga cock. <laughs> I don't say, what the fuck is this nigga on? <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Only thing that be on top of my mind is. Yeah, I got it. Only thing that be on top of my mind when I'm stressing niggas on my fucking chat. Welcome to carrots. We got carrots. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Yeah, I. You saying that when you blind? You go blind, you gonna wish you had some carrots. I'm just whacking something like a blind. I'm tired of carrots, man. You know what it is. I ain't no more popping no seals. I gotta live. That shit gon' fuck up my ribs. I ain't no more fucking with suckers. You fuck with the fake. I only fuck with the real. I'ma fulfill my destiny. Take on my mission. The nigga, I'm chasing the mill. I don't care what they say. Get the fuck out my face. Turn the track on the killer with skills. On the road to the riches. I'm dodging the speed bumps. And I